Happy New Year 2023. It is 2.21 a.m. And I should be asleep because I have church in the morning. But um, every year I ask the Lord what is the word for me for the year. Um, and he gave me the word for this year and he told me to share it with everybody else. So I am sharing it with you all. And it's interesting because the word that the God that God gave me is harvest. And at our overnight prayer, we have 1030 p.m. to 3 a.m. prayer every last Friday of the month. He told me during as we were praying, he said, uh, you need to share the word about um, the harvest and also Google uh, how to prepare for a harvest because everyone needs to prepare. I thought it was funny, but. This is the second time God has told me to Google something and I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to listen. So I ended up on this article by California Industrial Rubber Company and they have this article. It's called How to Prepare for Next Year's Harvest Season. And literally the Lord just highlighted so many things. So I'm going to share just a few things um, because the word of the Lord is 2023 is the year of the harvest, but unfortunately you might not actually receive your harvest. Um, if you know anything about farming, uh, your fruit might be ripe, but if you don't do the work to get it, to harvest it at the right time, it can rot. And that's, you, the fruit did come in, but it rotted, or the animals might eat it, or people might take it. There's a ton of things that could happen to your fruit if you are not harvesting properly. And so um, I will try to figure out if I could f put the link in here to this article. Um, and the Holy Spirit will have to give you revelation because he gave me a ton of revelation. But I'm just going to go through, I think, the first three things. So the first thing that it says is you have to make sure you have all the supplies you need for prepping the fields, planting crops, and taking care of them until they're ready for harvest. And what God was talking to me personally, examples of that, if, you, if you're expecting the harvest of a promotion, but you need like an additional degree or certificate, then you need to get that because that promotion harvest is going to come. But then when they look at your credentials, you're not going to meet the requirements. So as you prepare for that harvest, do you have all the supplies that you need? If you know that you're a poor communicator, yet you're asking God for a spouse, how are you advancing your communication? How are you learning to communicate better? Do you need to go to therapy? Do you need to watch some YouTube videos? Like, what does that look like for you? Another thing it says to prepare the soil, preparing the soil, clear away the stalks, stems, and other plant matters from the last harvest. What does that look like for you? I have a lot of single friends. If you're looking for a spouse, are you still talking to your exes? Because that that soil is not ready for another harvest because there's already stalks in that ground. Do you need to forgive? Like what's still there that might need to be cleared away? What could be in the way that could actually choke up your harvest? And even in that same site, it says, that this could mean adding fertilizer you know that what you do to your to the to the soil you might need to add fertilizer and that might be that you need to do the uncomfortable thing you might have to do things that are going to stretch you and that's fertilizer fertilizer stinks and there's a lot of things that we have to do to prepare ourselves that suck but what if you're asking for something and god is releasing it to you you have to build that muscle. No one can go into the gym and bench press 220. You're going to have to start, you know, for me, I started working out again. I'm, I'm doing five pounds. Don't judge me. I made it to 10. You know, I'm, I'm at 10 right now. And eventually I'll get higher, but I need to build up that muscle. And that is my fertilizer. I want to get healthy. I want to build up my strength. The fertilizer is lifting weights, which to me sucks, but I want the harvest of health. Um, another one, and then you guys can go read the article. It says that, um, you should plan for your crops. I know a lot of us do vision boards, but, and, but really be intentional with what is it that you're act actually believing that God is going to do because it's already been released. And a lot of us, 
the seeds we planted in 2022 and 2021 and 2020, maybe even 2016 are what's going to come up in 2023. You might not even have time to plant anything new. And even in that matter, think about it. Like if you've been planting bad seeds and there's a bad harvest coming your way, then you need to um, mitigate, play damage control. If you know in past relationships, you've been this horrible person, you might need to call someone or a few people and apologize because you don't want that coming back to you. It's the law of the harvest. What you plant is what you will reap. All right, I love you all. This article is in-depth, but the Lord will speak to you just like he spoke to me on it. But prepare for the harvest because 2023 will not end with you not having seen your harvest. I didn't say tasting it because some people will see it and not eat of it. Like the story of the man who didn't believe the prophet when he said, by this time tomorrow, he said, you will hear of it, but you will not eat of it. So I don't want any of you to be the hear of it, but don't eat of it that we all hear the word of the Lord and enjoy the fruit that he has for us in this year. Because let me tell you, I'm getting my full harvest. All right. Love y'all. Have a good night. Happy New Year 2023. Yes, I'm in my robe. And I did ask Louis permission. I'm like, I'm in my robe, but I have to obey the Lord. And he's like, fine, you don't have to get dressed. Yay. I right, love you all.